Hello everyone, I would like to show you WinU Soft, which is basically a lighter and simpler version of WinU Pro. It is meant for one thing and one thing only, and that is connecting your Nintendo Bluetooth controllers as an Xbox 360 controller for Windows. You will need to install the Microsoft Xbox 360 controller driver, and you will need to install the Scarlet Crush Productions driver, which is included. Just click on scpdriver.exe. You do not need to install the Bluetooth driver, but you do need to install the configure service. So just click install. I'm not going to because I've already done so, so I'm going to jump right into the program. And as you can see, we have two Wii U Pro controllers and one Wii Remote connected. And if we need to identify which device is which, like in this case, we have one black Pro controller and one white Pro controller, it might be nice to know which one's which. So you just click on the identify button and one controller will vibrate and display a light show and with that information you can go click on the properties window and you can rename this device to whatever you want I'm going to name it the white pro controller you can also select options to automatically connect the controller on the program start when the controller is detected you can choose whichever controller or don't auto connect at all you can also have it load a default profile so I'm going to save that and we have the white pro controller here so let's go ahead and connect these controllers. Controller 1, 2, and 3. And as you can see, the player number is indicated with the LED display to tell you which Xbox controller that one is representing. It's also worth noting that you can connect up to four controllers at a time and use them all as Xbox controllers, whereas some adapters only allow you to connect one controller at a time if you're going to use it as X input, which is what allows you to use it as an Xbox controller. And along with the Pro Controller and Wii Remote support, it also supports Wii extensions such as the Nunchuck and the Classic Controller Pro and of course the regular Classic Controller. And as you can see the icon here changes to depict which extension you have plugged in. And though you can change extensions around while the program is running, it's not recommended that you do so. You can also minimize this program to the tray by just clicking minimize and as you can see it appears down here. This will also show battery status indicators if your battery is running low. You can also use the refresh option to detect controllers in the background and if any of those are set to automatically connect they will do so. Let's take a look at the controller configuration. So if you click on the wrench icon the controller window will appear and you'll be able to change the button layout for that controller. Just click on the button that you want to change and then click on the button that you want to assign it to. Personally, I like to switch my X and Y button configurations to map to that of the Xbox layout. And of course, you can change the button mappings of any of the inputs. You just hover your mouse over any of the buttons or inputs fields in order to see which one that you want to assign. And when you're satisfied with your changes, you can just hit apply to accept it. You can also reload the default and you can save the, your configuration as a profile or you can load a profile that you have previously saved. I would also like to point out that the guide button is mappable and does function. You can also use your Xbox 360 controllers along with this program so you can have a mixture of Nintendo controllers and Xbox 360 controllers. And to disconnect your controller, all you have to do is click on the big red X icon, and that will detach your controller. To detach them all, you can just click that icon. You can also use the refresh icon to, if you connected a controller in the background or if you change the controller's extension to refresh that device state. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this program and have fun using your Nintendo controllers as an Xbox 360 controller on Windows.